Hi guys and girls and welcome back to the channel Retail Investing in Trading. In today's video you'll see me spending $4,000 on the stock market or maybe should I better say investing four grand in the market. So stay tuned. And we are back. So in front of myself I'm logged in into my broker and um, I'm just gonna go straight forward okay I already opened all of the stocks that I'm planning to buy not this year basically GE Philip Morris uh, Procter & Gamble IBM stock T stock and uh, Armour residential REIT stock so let's just start why am I purchasing General Electric company because the General Electric is a uh, huge huge enormous uh, blue chip company which is yeah lately doing pretty bad but as they changed the CEO and the CEO compensation mostly came from the stock price of so if he fixes the GE problems and the stock prices started raising and growing he will be health his compensation will be healthy let's call it that way so and I think that a uh, new CEO is uh, Mr. Lawrence Cobb Jr. is capable person and that he'll be able to do so. Besides, Jesus, so enormous company. I don't want to say too big to fail because any company can fail at any given time. But I think they have a good product. Uh, they work in in many industries, and I think that they'll their stock will definitely recover. Prior to the uh, dividend cut. There were also good dividend uh, dividend yield stock, uh, but currently they are not. So eventually, I'm investing for growth right now in GE. However, as the stock prices start start to go up, long term, like 10, 8, 15 years from now, I believe that the GE dividend yield will come back to its previous levels eventually, and it will be very good uh, dividend stock. So let's start and j let's just go ahead and purchase GE. And I'm, I already have a position in GE, which is very a very small position. I bought it. I, I'm. I would like to say at the bottom, uh, but you never know. I just now now I just want to add to the position, and I'll purchase 25% uh, of my four thousand dollars, which is thousand dollars. So that gives me around hundred. I think hundred and ten shares, roughly, and uh, we're gonna set a good thing to, to cancel obviously the my account number is blurred but let's just see how that goes okay I'm not doing this too too often so if something doesn't happen immediately yeah I will just try to figure it out okay so let's 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 try this out yeah it didn't it didn't happen <laughs> or it did Ah, limit price. Uh, limit price. What is the limit price? I don't know. Let's open a G. Let's open a G chart. This looks so unprofessional. But as I'll be doing more and more of this each and every month, as I'm planning to invest this year specifically, so I, I'm sure that I'll get to, you know, to get to know this chart and uh, get to know this broker, and that everything will be everything will eventually be fine. So let's let's purchase it right there how can we do this okay so let's let's limit limit 966 i have a long position 15 stocks at 693 i'll purchase it at 965 okay so 965 and just buy yeah okay so send my order is sent now we will get an information when the order will be filled and my balance will go down i also have an apple uh, but uh, let's move to my other positions that I want to buy today, which is the IBM stock. Uh, right now, I don't want to buy a bunch of the uh, a lot of IBM stock. Currently, the IBM stock is worth around one hundred thirty-three dollars, and I'm planning to buy uh, five hundred dollars worth of it, which is like what six fifty. Uh, the thing is that as I see with the IBM. Let's let's go to IBM stock. The thing that I see with the IBM is they recently just purchased the uh, Red Hat, and I think they're fighting for their position. 
in the cloud market against the giants like Amazon and Microsoft and the rest of the companies. But I see huge potential in the uh, with the with their purchase of Red Hat. So I'm just gonna. I think it's a plus. It's also very good dividend stock, giving me 4.68% of dividend grow uh, dividend each and every year. I believe this will be good. I will definitely keep adding to this stock uh, each and every month uh, and to build up those posi position and uh, aver average it out. You know, using the method called do the dollar cost averaging. But more on that and more on that later. Uh, more on that method later. So let's go ahead and let's purchase around 600 bucks of IBM stock. So we are at the IBM weekly. Let's set it on daily. Let's see how much stock is it. Okay, it's loading slowly. Okay, we want to trade. We want to buy IBM. IBM. Yes. Yeah. We don't have five quantity for five uh, hundred uh, shares. We have quantity for five pips. Limit price is 133, uh, 110, and we're just gonna set the duration is good, good thing to cancel and let's buy. Yes, so buying. Okay, I think that it actually currently at this time, GE order filled. Yes, because I just got a notification on my cell phone. No, actually the IBM stock filled. That's the, no the notification that I got. So we just purchased the five IBM stocks. Now let's move. Yeah, as you can see here, we purchased them. So now let's move to my other stock, which is AT&T. AT&T is already stock that I own for quite a while. Uh, it was my actually one of the first stocks that I purchased, and I purchased it because I'm kind of investor for cash flow, which means that I like to get a, I like companies to pay me. Because I've seen Warren Buffett making uh, $8,000 each and every minute based just from the dividends that he's receiving from his investments. So, and the AT&T has a huge dividend, in my opinion, which is almost 7%. Uh, also, AT&T is in the regulated industry, has maybe two bigger competitors, which is Verizon and the Sprint. And I think that AT&T is... It's pushing the envelope, it's coming to the market first with it's investing heavily into 5G network and uh, I think they're going in a good direction. Plus later on, I might diversify with the Verizon as well. So I'm gonna add to my position and I'm gonna purchase $1,000 of AT&T. So let's go back and let's find the AT&T chart. Ticker symbol is T, I believe. Yes, so let's zoom out. Okay, now we want to trade. Let's find T. Yes, $1,000 worth of AT&T. The stock is like 30 stocks, I believe I can buy. Let me just quickly check. $1,000. $1,000 spent by 30 is 34, uh, 33. I'll purchase 35. And uh, we are open position is currently down a hundred dollars, but I also received a dividend of 30 something bucks uh, the other day. So I'm actually down 70 bucks, but you know, th that's what dividends is all about. If the price st stays at this levels by the end of this year, I will be in, in green based on the dividend yield that I received from the AT&T. So let's just purchase 29, 32. 33 and a good still cancel. Let's buy quantity. Yes. So send. Okay. So we send additional order for uh, yes. And I think that we got filled on something. We we got filled on 35 shares of AT&T. Now let's move forward and let's check out our fourth stock, which is Philip Morris. With, fully, with Philip Morris company, I'm also investing um, mainly because of dividend yield, which is also high, 5.83. And as a lot of people are uh, thinking that the recession is coming, I think that a lot of people will not star, stop smoking or uh, you know using the Philip Morris products and their brands. Uh, as a matter of fact, if the recession comes, 
a lot of people will be under huge stress which you know will start spending more and more money on their products plus Philip Morris has also invested a lot of money in their uh, what, what it's called uh, electric cigarette and I think uh, they're a good buy right now uh, specifically because they're also uh, giving huge dividend so I'm gonna purchase uh what is it uh 500 bucks of, no actually yeah around 500 bucks of philip morris which gives me what let's see 500 bucks divided by 80 around seven seven a little bit more a lot or seven shares of philip morris so the ticker symbol for philip morris is let's see uh pm okay Where do I? Hmm. New York Stock Exchange PM. What's wrong? PM. Okay, there we go. So charge on on a daily. Let's trade. Okay. So we have uh, one more stock to buy after the PM. Uh, it's actually not Procter and Gamble. It it will be the wheat. Uh, because Procter & Gamble is a stock that I'll be, start adding to my position, not adding, actually purchasing my initial stock on Procter & Gamble because I believe that's a recession-proof company. I will explain this in the next video after a month when I start investing, when I start my second cycles of investing because I'll, one of my decisions is as I'm just a starting to invest because in Europe is not we are not used to these investments like you guys are in America and uh, the thing is that I'll just add, add it by a bunch of different stocks uh, every month and I will record videos such as this one as I purchase them okay so uh, we are back on Philip Morris we are buying what eight uh, seven shares of Philip Morris right yeah seven shares the price is 78 78 times 38 Good till the cancel. Yes, let's just buy Philip Morris. And finally, as I said, we are all already filled on Philip Morris as well. Uh, finally, what I said it will not be Procter and Gamble. Uh, uh, Procter and Gamble is, as I said, recession proof because people will not stop buying, you know, uh, Jones uh, brands that Procter and Gamble are own. Okay diapers and everything if you have a baby you have to buy diapers so Procter & Gamble owns Pampers and a bunch of different you know brands so I don't believe that people stop minimizing and uh, they're purchasing on, on some kind of the essentials they need for a daily life but more on that later currently I want to purchase as well Armour Reed specifically because of their uh, dividend yield okay so uh, let's spend the rest of the money on the armor wheat error there we go the price uh is 2112 i still have 700 bucks and which is which gives me 700 bucks is 702 divided by 22 32 shares i can buy 32 shares Ar armor Limit price is 2112. Uh, and the not duration is good till cancel. With that being said, let's go. Send. Yeah. So, guys, basically that's it. You just saw and witnesses how I purchased $4,000 worth, how I invested $4,000 in the stock market in uh, five different companies which is GE based on growth and uh, belief that uh, GE will become come back and stronger than they were before with the great dividend yield increase IBM because of the good dividend yield and because of their purchase of Red Hat and uh, improving their position in a fight uh, in regards to cloud and cloud infrastructure AT&T because the AT&T is like in regular regulated industry good dividend yield not too many competitors and a chance to diversify with one of the competitors 
later on, fill it more because if the recession is coming or even if it's not, people are just not quitting smoking, plus they invest in a lot in their new electronic cigarette, plus a dividend yield. Armor Residential, it's currently, I think it's affordable and I think they, have, they offer a great dividend because of their structure. The REITs have a specific structure where they have to give back to their investors each and every year. They're also regulated and I believe the Armor Residential REIT is standing very good. With that being said, guys, this is strictly and only my opinion. This is not the financial advice. There is also, I'll bring up in the video, a disclaimer and a disclosure on all about this. If you need to do your own research and you need to make your own financial decisions, I'm not allowed to advise you on something and this is not a financial advice. With that being said, again, thank you very much just, uh, for staying until the end of this video. Hope you hope you like it. If you do, click that like button, click that subscribe button and smash that bell button. Until the next time, take care and talk to you soon.